euro dollar. So the euro is trying to figure out its next move, and the key levels to watch above and below come in at 114.67 above and 108.19 below. A break above 114.67 would be critical and would take the immediate pressure off the downside in the euro, while back below recent lows at 108.19 would be required to confirm bearish resumption and open the door for a retest of that critical March base, that 12-year base at 104.62 further down sterling dollar. So cable has been well bid up in recent trade after basing out by lows at 151.70 and if the market can establish back above the recent high at 154.41 this would put the pressure back on the top side and potentially expose a retest of that recent 2015 high at 158.15 further up. However inability to close above 154.41 followed by a break back down towards the recent lows that we saw at 151.70 would open the pressure back on the downside towards the key low that comes in back on the um, the 4th of May at 150.90 about. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains pressure to the downside into Wednesday trade after the market has sold off and is in the process of correcting off those fresh multi-year highs that we saw at 125.85 several days back or a few days back. The market is now poised for a retest of previous resistance turned support at 122 and ultimately the broader outlook does remain highly constructive with a test of this level to likely result in a higher low ahead of the next major upside extension uh, back towards and eventually above that 120 125.85 uh, multi-year high. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to look constructive as the market continues to show signs of recovery and a recent low at 104.40 is expected to support ahead of the next upside extension above 105.75 and back towards that February peak at 108.15. Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar has been very well supported in recent trade with the market stalling ahead of critical multi-year lows and the recent uh, 2015 low at 75.33, though the market is still locked within a well-defined downtrend and ultimately only a break back above recent highs at 78.19 would really compromise the integrity of the downtrend. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been pressured to the downside after triggering a short-term double top, which could expose a move into the 121.70 to 122 area over the coming sessions. At this point, the medium-term structure is still highly constructive, and a higher low will be sought out in that area ahead of a resumption of gains back above recent highs in the 125.65 area and towards the 2015 peak at 128.35 further up. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks to be poised for a bit of a correction following recent lows at 2015 lows at 70.24, though this correction should be very well supported, so we're very well capped into rallies up towards the 73 area. At this point, really only a break back above 74 would compromise the current intense downtrend. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is showing significant signs of a major top after rolling over from record highs at 2137. At this point, a break below 2040, that critical support going back to the 11th of March it would be critical, and a break below would open the door for a more significant pullback in this market. Gold. So gold has done a really good job of being well supported by this internal support around 1170 with the market unable to close below 1170 and opening this latest bounce. The market could now be poised for a retest of gains back towards the 1232 high that we saw uh, going back to the, um, the, the high that we saw on the 18th of May and really only a close below 1170 would force a shift in this basing outlook and expose a retest of those 2014 lows at 1131 further down.